Alright, so you guys haven't seen the um, fullness of this base yet in all of its glory. Um, I'm just going to throw like the rest of this in here. Um, let me grab some coal and I'll just throw like the iron in here. Um, I guess it would probably help if I actually put coal in the furnace. Um, I do actually have a lot more iron to smelt here, so hold on, let me get all of that. I think you need eight, so that'll be enough right there. And three in there. And ten. There we go. Wait, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Um... I do actually have full-on chest organization now, so don't mind me actually being prepared. Um, got some diamonds now. Uh, I'm not going to smelt the gold just yet. Uh, I'll figure that out when the time comes. What in the... What is this? What? What's, what's the problem? Was it supposed to be? Like... Oh, sorry. Did you like it? Uh... I... What? What's the problem? What? I don't understand. It looks good. Hey, from over here? It, from a distance? It looks really good. I, I, I like it a lot. Uh, wait... I'm so... Why? Why would you do this? Why what? Sorry, what, what, what's, what's the problem? Oh, oh did, uh, you must be talking about Omega did. Surely not our additions to your house, which is really, really good. This is... I'm so confused. Oh, I see you left a gift with a diamond. Um, yes. Ev everything is labeled now, and it's all... Well, we thought we'd make it a little bit more accessible. You know? oh, oh, yeah, make it more accessible. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, we wanted to, like, connect you with na nature. So okay. We added a little bit of, a little bit of dirt so that you, get, you can really connect to your your roots yeah um, surrounded this guy's uh thing because we're like hey he's dirt cheap right get it oh yeah i mean I... yeah okay uh we we thought there wasn't enough good access to the roof so oh okay see that'll totally help because like i need yeah. to finish the roof you see you see you're welcome uh there's a couple signs up here left by being in a bit of a, a bit of a rush for some reason I'm noticing uh, on a couple of these signs but yeah uh, uh, hey look I gave you this little skylight and this way you can just you don't even you don't even need stairs there you go yeah I mean we added a couple extra windows uh, your base was lacking color so we just kind of made it it made it a little bit more deep you know add a little bit more depth to this, to this room uh, a little bit more color Why would you do this? You're welcome. Why? You're welcome. This is... The villagers like it, see, look. He's well, like yeah, obviously the villager likes it. He's getting a free bed out of this. Yeah, of course. And look, and now he knows where the bed is. Oh, I mean, yeah, everything's labeled now. So, I mean... Yeah. See? But, but so what, what, if I, what if I don't know how to read? What do you say? I think, um... I don't, I don't like it. I'm sorry? And... Look, I even gave you this pillar. I, now, now, how else would you know where your base is? You'd get lost and scared. I, I mean... I can't argue with that. I mean, that's... We, yeah, we also left you quite a bit of things, just because, you know, in case... It's difficult, you know, seeing so much change. So we, this chest was empty, so we made sure to fill it up for you. Oh, yeah, it looks like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I really appreciate the, like, mostly used tools. You know, I, I, I'm glad that you're, because, you know, like, I, so, any other one, any other person would see this, kind, would see this and be like, yuck, this is gross stuff. Ew, I don't want this stuff. But you are just so kind, you know? You actually get it. You're like, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it, right? Yeah, yeah.
Yeah. I mean, that's what you like. That's what you like, right? Right? Exactly. Like? Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> that is what you're like. You're right. So, like... Five, five diamonds. Five, yeah, just five diamonds. That's all we require. We just want five diamonds. Wait a minute. No. 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 <laughs> We're not doing this again. <laughs> We're not doing this again. No. No. <laughs> So I just recorded all of that and then realized that I literally didn't have any of the audio recording, dude. Oh, come on. I plugged my mic into the wrong slot and so it wasn't. Like, you've got to be joking me. It's taking a lot out of me to commentate this today. I don't feel good. And the fact that now I have to re-record some of the audio is kind of making me mad. Especially because it was just such a dumb reason. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking that I, uh, I don't know if I recorded any of the audio saying what the goals for today were. I don't think I did, actually, funny enough. So that means that I have to re-repeat that. Uh, you saw me make this farm. That'll be a big time lapse. It was already supposed to be. But then also, um, I... I'm going to go visit some people's bases. So I will see you in the next clip where there will be audio because I'm gonna make sure there is. I've been having a lot of audio problems recently. So uh, hopefully those all get solved eventually. But uh, yeah, I will I'll see you soon. All right, hello everybody and welcome back. Um, I believe we are, I think this is maybe the spawn portal, I don't know, I assume this is the spawn portal. 
Um, but we are heading to, hello Putnam. Um, I believe we are heading into Spawn. Let's see here. And we are heading to a pop-up shop run by Devon. And he is selling mending books. One diamond each. Now, um, where I pay for this, I do not know. I'm going to give him, you know, two diamonds because I want two books, right? And then one more diamond as a tip. So I think definitely for one diamond, I didn't want to take too much. So I, that's why I just, I, I took two, gave three diamonds. I figured that's fair. You know, a tip for setting up the shop as well. Um, this stuff isn't exactly organized right now. Don't mind that. It's just, I'm trying to, you know, have everything set up somewhat properly and just trying to, I don't know. But uh, there we go. So that is those done now. So I have a full set of mending armor, a pickaxe, and a sword. Um, let me let me tell Devin real quick. I bought. Well, that's not how you spell bought. I bought two mending books for two diamonds. Left a one diamond tip. But yeah, I've just been fishing for a little bit. Um, I said I was going to go and. Um, exp or like go to everyone else's base, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because uh, that's gonna be something fun for the next episode. I really don't want and unless unless this episode edits down and it's you know nothing crazy. If it's like 15 minutes, I might do you know an extra clip at the end exploring or showing off everyone's base. There we go. That's such a cool effect, dude, of like the world spinning. That's so cool. I love that. Yeah, I'm just I'm fishing, seeing what I can get from this. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I can get a Depth Strider book. Um, if not, that's cool too. Uh, but a Depth Strider book would go a long way. What's on this bow? Power 4 Infinity 1. That is a great bow. Uh, that's actually beating the bow that I have right now. That's power three, punch one, infinity one. Um, so maybe maybe if I could get maybe another power three bow, I could combine the two power threes and get another power four, and then I could combine the two power four. And you see what I'm saying? I hope. But I've already got mending on my fishing rod. I've got luck of the sea three and lure three. Uh, it would probably help for fishing if I actually, you know, threw the fishing rod out there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a uh, really simple way of getting stuff. I could probably auto fish, but I really don't want to auto fish. Uh, got a trap or trip wire hook. But uh, yeah. I'm going to continue fishing, and if I find anything, then I'll let you know. Bro, look, the drown is so chill. Look at him. He, he just wants to do circles, man. He even got in the water to see, like, you know, what it would do, and it's just like, ah, oh, yeah, what's up, man? Fishing is also a good way to get, like, some decent experience. Um, it's not insanely quick, but it's, I mean, it's a solid way to do it. Um, you also get stuff for fishing, not only XP. Now, let me actually turn down my game volume, or my computer volume real quick. I hope it doesn't come through my mic. I literally pressed the button, but okay, game. Oh. Aqua Affinity 1 Protection 3. Honestly? I could put that on my, um... 
on my helmet because I mean that would be pretty good uh, I probably would want to get like another protection 3 or protection 2 book just so I can either combine the helmet with another book or so I can well, either way I would be combining the helmet with a new book but uh yeah, that's really good I'm trying to work on getting this set of armor to be like pretty much top tier especially the stuff other than the chest plate the chest plate's pretty good as it is but I want to make sure that like because eventually we're gonna have elytras and I want to make sure that you know I'm fully protected you know if I don't have my chest plate on so anything I can get that saves me a little bit is absolutely welcome well, that's a really good book to fish out uh, getting protection oh and another fishing rod I can see three unbreaking three I could combine that and get unbreaking three but I have an unbreaking three book I don't think it's necessary right now um, do I actually have a, in a second I'm gonna check oh I don't have unbreaking three on my sword so really the only things that I could improve about my sword would be oh another book multi-shot one I thought it was mending one that would have been a bit too good of luck right off the bat yeah I think that um, well first of all once I'm done fishing for a little bit I'm gonna make sure that I um, work on starting a cow farm down there because that's another thing is I want to make sure that I get a shop up and running really soon and if I can get a well, it's nice to see that the tree grew on camera. But uh, if I can get a shop up and running real quickly, that would be great because more people will buy food early game. Um, but the thing I really need to sell is probably golden carrots because I have an exponential amount of gold. And I think I could probably sell golden carrots pretty easily. So maybe that's what I'll do is I'll expand. No, not expand. I might just create a. Uh, yeah, I might create just a golden carrot shop. Like temporary stock. I really have no idea. But golden carrots are really good. Um. It probably would be a temp. It wouldn't be a temporary shop for me. It would be something that I would just restock every once in a while. But like, if the stock's lower, I charge a higher price. Um, I, don't know, I mean, I could probably sell sixteen of them for a diamond, or maybe five emeralds. I think that's probably fair. Maybe I could do twenty. I think twenty is a more fair price. Um, it's so like 20 golden carrots for, you know, a diamond or an emerald. And oh, we got a new book. Silk Touch 1, Smite 3. Okay, Silk Touch 1. I need a Silk Touch pickaxe. So that's actually really good. We got a new fishing rod. Oh, that's technically better than my current fishing rod. It has Unbreaking 3, but it has the same enchantments. Ooh. I mean, technically, I could fish with this, and it's technically gonna repair itself. So I guess, I guess it's time to put this fishing rod into retirement. Oh boy, that was quick. I mean, technically, the unbreaking three part doesn't really make much of a difference. But uh, you know, I, I need a silk touch pickaxe, and I have. Let's see. Or maybe just a silk touch axe would be fine for now. And I'll go with a pickaxe actually, because I'm liable to, you know, need stone and stuff more than I need a beehive, you know, a couple of times. Uh, let's get out a little bit of wood though, and make some sticks, and then make a pickaxe. And then, oh, we already have the lapis on us, okay. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab the tools that I need to disenchant, and then I can just bring them over here and disenchant them. 
but real quick. Um, it's not all that great right now. Hold on. So I need to disenchant this. Make sure I. Yeah. Okay. Disenchant that. Disenchant that. I'm actually gonna disenchant this bow as well. Efficiency two right off the bat. I mean, it's not great. I would like to see efficiency four or five, or at the very least, efficiency three. But efficiency four or five would be the best, for obvious reasons. Well, I guess I'm probably pretty liable to fish a good book, so maybe I shouldn't be wasting my levels. You know, I will do one more until I can maybe get, there it is, efficiency two. And then, you know what, I'll just combine this book with... The pickaxe and then turn it into a netherite pickaxe and call it a day. So, um, because I can always, you know, add more to it. And then, I know this is maybe a little bit of a waste, but I will go ahead and, do I not have a smithing table? I know I have a smithing table somewhere, because I literally used it before. This might seem like a little bit of a waste right now, but I can always upgrade the protection. And I, I do have, I can put on breaking three on it already, so that's another thing. So I can turn that into that. Let me make sure I don't have anything else that I can disenchant. There's a lot of stuff just laying around here that's not necessary. Alright, I'm going to keep the cows in there for now. I know this isn't exactly a great setup over here, but it's fine, I guess. It, it is what it is. Uh, but I can put on breaking three on it. I don't need mending at the moment, but I will put on breaking three on it. So, unbreaking three. For now, that's just, it's good enough. I'm actually going to take the iron helmet out of there and plop that in there. And throw that in there. And then just get rid of all the stuff that's not necessary. You know, such as this stuff. And now this will go in the valuables chest. Lame one, infinity one. Actually, you know what? I forgot that you can get flame on a bow. So that is actually... Another good thing about fishing, and I might actually make a dock, because maybe I could become, like, just a merchant of... Because I, I do plan on getting all sorts of food. I don't know how often I would stock up on fish, but... Who knows, maybe every once in a while I could stock up on fish, and... That's a little bit of a ripoff. Well, I guess, don't you need blaze rods for that? So, I mean, I guess I could see... I know there's a nether fortress somewhere, but somebody's making bank off of selling this stuff, I'm pretty sure instead of giving the coordinates, which, I mean, good for them. It's raining now. Time to go ahead and work on making golden carrots, which means it's time to head down. Oh, look at this farm. Everything is grown for the most part, which means I can basically just go along and break everything. Obviously not everything is grown, but mostly everything is grown, which is the important part. And out of all of that, I got almost a full stack of carrots. And then also, I'm just going to harvest everything, actually. Because there's no point in having the farm down here and then not harvesting it when it's ready to be harvested, right? And I probably could make, like, like a furnace system or something down here to where I can cook the stuff with ease. Potatoes are such a good way to get food, dude, because they're, they're just such whole, like large quantities of them. I mean, look at how many potatoes I got. Like, I have over a stack of potatoes. I do have a couple of... And we'll go for the wheat as well. Alright, so out of all of that, that is a lot of stuff to have. Um, definitely time to start getting to work on the golden carrots. Um... I'll have to work out the prices for other things, but for now I'm just going to work on getting golden carrots 
set up because I already do have 27 of them. I can always sell golden apples as well. Um, but let's make a bunch of golden nuggets here. Uh, just make a ton of golden nuggets. Then just keep making them. Make golden carrots. Just so many golden carrots. There we go. I mean, might as well, I suppose, make one more set of nine, and then I can make one more final golden carrot. And that leaves me with... I mean, that's, a, that's still a solid amount of gold that I have left. Um... I'm thinking I could probably charge about five emeralds or one diamond. Yeah, I would say that's probably fair for like 20. Um, but I definitely need to make a chest for shop items. So I'll make like a portion of the base, that's near like of this chest room, that's just for shop items, which can go... There we go, and I want to fill all of that up with golden carrots. And then I also need to maybe fill up about this much with, actually, you know what? I maybe want to fill up a couple of rows of each type of thing. So like this will be like baked potatoes through here. And then this can be, you know, bread all through this row, right? I think that's fair to set it up that way. Get all of this stuff out though. The golden carrots are the only things that like are actually like finished, like their final form. I just need to fill it up. Um, but I need to start working on cooking the potatoes. So I need to divide this somewhat evenly here. And there we go. So that should be enough. And that should be enough there. Actually, you know, I'll just go ahead and put the rest of the coal in that furnace. There's probably a few furnaces that just, they already have enough to cook, you know, a full amount, but I'm not going to worry about that. And I'm just going to put, like, the uncooked fish in here. Um, there's probably some stuff that, you know, shouldn't be in the random chest, but it is. Um, and, cook, and got some bread. I didn't cook bread. What am I talking about? And just go right through there. And that's actually a perfect amount right there. But this stuff down here will grow eventually. And I'll get some more carrots and all that. But in the meantime, I'm going to fish. But, um... Although actually it might be smarter to go down there and work on the... What's it called? Where I, Oh wait, I'm done. I'm done. Might be smart to go down there and work on the area for the cows, which will probably just be, you know, right back through here. I know I am using a slower tool, but this will at least give me some stone brick a little bit faster, which will be nice. I'm not going to make an insanely big room just because I don't think that the cows need an insanely big room, believe it or not. Um, but this will still be a solid amount of space for cows, you know. Alright, so I've just finished the uh, area for the cow farm, but uh, I also need to... Where did I put the... I know if I have leads somewhere. Uh, there's some leads right there. Um... So, I just have to find a way to get the cows into the farm, which, that's going to be a task. Um, basically, I need one on a lead, and I need to pull it out. I don't think I can get two leads attached to it. Oh, I can. Okay. Well, you guys come this way. Oh, well, actually, hold on. Uh, well, okay, first of all, let me do that, and then I can break the door. So now you guys come through there. Single file, one at a time, come on. Do you know how to do this? There we go. 
Don't pay attention to the fact that you're walking over your favorite food. <laughs> All right, so basically we just need to lead these cows across here and then into the bunker. Now I assume they can make it down there, no problem. Okay, there they are right there. Come on, you guys made it this far and then you get stuck on that door. All right, come on. No, it's not that difficult. Here, you, here, you go over there and then come on. Now come on, come on, here, come through. Oh, you bums. Right, you, you go back there and then you come this way. Bruh. All right, how about this? I'm gonna take the lead off of you, right? Push you over. Alright, and then you came through. Perfect. And then put the lead back on you. There we go. Alright. Come with me, cows. It is your destiny. And I am actually going to have to break this fence gate. Come with me. Hey, 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 hey. Good. Move. I swear, if you break out one of these days, I'm going to murder you. And actually, you know what? I'm going to break a little bit of this because, you know, that way you can look in there and actually, you know, breed the cows. But, uh, yeah, so now I've got that part done. So I've got the cow farm finished. This is what it looks like. I've got this farm right here finished. I also finally put in this part right here. Um, I think that's everything. I've got carrots, um, potatoes, wheat, cows. Uh, I think all that there's left to do is just start getting, I don't know. I really, I really have no clue, to tell you the truth. Um... Now why do I have a dark oak? Oh yeah, I know why I have a dark oak door on me, because it's from this over here. Um, but yeah, I think that, I, could, I guess I could probably make a sugarcane farm as well, but that's a lot of work, honestly. I am going to go ahead and just absolutely demolish this farm, because it's not needed, believe it or not. And then I'll just go ahead and, you know, tear down these trees as well because the wood from these is needed and if I could get some apples that would also be good because I also want to maybe sell golden apples in the future uh, I don't know how possible that is but it would be nice to be able to and then another thing I want to do is I want to eventually I think the way I might do this is I might I want to make a like a like a tree farm and so I think the way I would do that is I would excavate it all with TNT. You heard me right, TNT. I would blow it all up. That would probably make stuff a whole lot easier. Now, do I have shears anywhere? Uh, preferably I would have shears in one of these chests, but I doubt it. Um, none in there. Oh, there's some shears. Nice. Okay. I want to get rid of this wool over here. Because it's just taking up a ton of space. Now, there are chickens in here. And they would be nice to have a farm. As, or to have as, or for a farm as well. But I don't, think, I don't think it's necessary. To tell you the truth. They can just go do their own thing. Um, but having this wool could also be nice. Because, you know... I don't know why it would be nice, but it, it'll maybe get used in the future. I really don't know. But it's, it's really cool, though, that this was... It wasn't really a prank. It was more of a... Uh, it was like a prank that is like a harmless prank. A very, very, very harmless prank. Which... Top-tier stuff right there. 
you can prank people without making anybody mad, that's, I mean, you've completed your goal, right? That's April Fool's for you. You know, I also will grab some of these leaves as well, just so I can say I have them. Uh, I could maybe use them for some decoration later on down the line, but uh, I want to make a tree, like I was saying, I want to make a tree farm underground. I, I'm, I'm really debating the Atlantis theme. I really am. Because if I go with Atlantis, it'll look nice. But the amount of material that you have to get for a build of that size, I'm going to need so much wood. I'm going to need so much stone and like stone brick and all of that. I'm going to need so, oh, so much material, dude. It is going to be insane how much material is needed for that. Which is why I'm questioning if it's actually worth it or not. Because um, it could definitely, you know, take a month or so to get all that material. And that's not even a lie. Unless I, like, completely no life it. Um, you know, I don't have any... I do have fish in that chest. Oh, that reminds me. I think I have potatoes in here. Uh-huh. 24 potatoes in there. There we go. Okay. There we go. All the potatoes go in there. No big deal. And then, alright. Um, that all can go in there. Um, this all needs to go back in the wood chest, except for a little bit of this oak wood. And then put the birch wood back. This back. I don't even know why I have a torch in there. Um, put these in with the saplings. And then I can just put this in with the random stuff, I suppose. The shears in with the tools. I'll take the torches. I do need torches. Oh, and then these need to go back in the valuables chest. Uh, these are going to go in the tool chest. I'm not even sure why the axe is out of there. Uh, I don't care about having the seeds necessarily. And then just some more. And there you have it. So this is this is what we're going to try to stock up all the way on each time. And then, and then I'll refill the shop and then... You know, like I'm thinking maybe, you know, a diamond for, let's just say, 32 potatoes. Maybe two diamonds for 32 golden carrots, which is a slight discount from what it would have been. Because it would have been a diamond for 20, but actually, no, never mind. It's a little bit more pricey thinking about it. Oh, well, I don't mind more, you know, because golden carrots at the end of the day, they, I think they are the best food in the game. But then there's also bread, which I guess I don't really know if anyone wants bread or not. But let's sell it just because. Um, I have a lot of copper. I have no idea what to do with. Two pickaxes. Uh, my fishing rod. Uh, I'm going to put these down here real quick. Because that'll just... Oh, and I, I will keep one arrow on me. And, you know, I'll keep one. I'll keep a bow on me. And then this coal can just kind of get sorted out, you know, throughout the, you know, furnaces. So that'll be nice. One, two, three, one. All right, so I can basically just throw, you know, you get some coal, you get some coal, you get some, you don't apparently, you apparently don't get coal because I misclicked, but you get coal. And you get coal. And then I'll just start throwing it in the bottom furnaces again, I suppose. There we go. And then just, I'll keep some cobblestone on me, just because it's a building block. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode there. I hope you enjoyed. This one's a lot shorter, most likely, than the last one. Hopefully, anyways. Um, I don't want to have another hour-long video. But, uh, yeah. I will see you all in episode three and we'll have our own separate goals for that but i've hit my goal of making a farm like a full-on farm underground um but yeah i don't know what i would do for episode three 
I definitely want to go see other people's houses, though, at the start of the episode. So I'll have to do that. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.